Welcome back into the Rowdy Studio. It's the pre-race edition of the Rowdy Big Three, brought to you by our good friends at Bristol Motor Speedway. We're going to Indianapolis. Bristol's a little shorter than this place. And a little steeper. A little steeper. <laughs> a little steeper a little and steeper. a little shorter. I mean, Indianapolis Motor Speedway is a flat, square track. It's, it's an anomaly. An, an, an anomaly. It's very different from other racetracks. That's and, what I said. You know, first of all, yes, we've got two uh, long straightaways and then two short shoots. So you got actually four distinct corners on this track, as opposed to the kind of continuous turns that you see on your typical oval. So this is a very challenging racetrack because there's not a lot of banging to help turn the car. And yet, You've got so much speed coming down the straightaway that you get into that corner, you're going to need all the aero grip you can get if you're behind somebody else. And there's really kind of only one fast way through there. It's going to be tough because you're going to get the air off the nose of your car. You're going to start to push a classic aero push racetrack. Right. And, and it's one of the, I mean, that's not the reason a lot of people compare it to Pocono, but the flat corners, the long straights is one of the reasons you can sort of look to Pocono for a little bit of information. It happens where guys run well at Pocono and run well at Indy. It doesn't always happen. Well, like Denny Hamlin is a great example of how it doesn't always happen because he's, he's of course, brilliant at Pocono and hit and miss. Yep. Mostly at, miss. He's at, been mostly miss. At, at, at Indy. Um, and, you know, it's not just the flat corners and the long straights. I mean, this is a track where fuel mileage can come into play as well. Well, if you look at the season so far, we've seen a dearth of cautions relative to what we a usually dearth, see. A, a dearth, a veritable dearth. Which means not a lot. Of cautions. Exactly. So we're looking at a season with not a lot of cautions. We're looking at a racetrack where track position is really important. It's tough to pass. Uh, I think you're going to see some long green flag runs here. And if the cautions do fall just right, fuel mileage could very, very easily come into play here. I think. I think the chances are 50-50 that it matters a lot. Right, Sunday. right. So, and, and, and because of that pit strategy could come into play, do you, uh, do you try to pit early? Do you take two tires? Do you take four tires? Do you do a well, You go back to Danny and Hamlin go. and you think about how, what tire strategy did to him at New Hampshire. I don't think they'll make that same mistake again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> but this is going to be a race where that kind of call is going to be very, very important. So even if it's not fuel mileage, it could very well be what kind of calls do you make on pit road? Now, in terms of drivers, there are three guys who have average finishes of 10th or better at this racetrack. Of course, the top two are going to be Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, but Kevin Harvick, who's, who's won here, also has a very good average finish. If you look at those guys, I think Tony Stewart is a little bit more consistent yes. from year to year here. Both Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon. And have Tony Stewart's running better than those other guys. Right Absolutely. Now, now, what's interesting is Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart both have only finished outside of the top 10 at this racetrack four times in their entire careers. Which means they've got a great feel. And that's why I go, you know, you mentioned Tony Stewart. I do think he's obviously the guy to make the favorite in this race. But you go back to Jeff Gordon, you think about the speeding penalty at Pocono. And you think about the speed he's been able to show a little bit lately. And this race just feels like a must win to me. It feels like a, not a must top five, but like I got to figure out a way to win this thing. No mistakes on pit road, start up front, stay up front, get my car squared away, and win this race. I think he's got to do it. And, and we might see some I mean, wacky like look. I pick we, him every other week. We talked about fuel mileage and pit strategy. We might see some aggressive calls on the part of Alan Gustafson to try to grab that win for Jeff Gordon but if he's not starts, out there running with the winner. You know, there's a way leaders. to manage the weekend sometimes. And, and, and sometimes what you need to do is you need to go out and run strong in the first practice, run strong in the second practice, qualify well, run great in happy hour, run up front all race. So that's the kind of weekend he needs to have. A no hiccups, fast off the truck, we're a favorite, from the beginning kind of weekend. He needs that desperately. All right, long shot. Matt Kenseth finished fifth here last year, led 10 laps. Yep. Not Wouldn't necessarily consider him a favorite, but might be a Longer good, shot. Might be a good long shot pick. Joey Logano, he won Pocono, right? Okay, longer shot still. Regan Smith. New crew chief. Todd Barrier. That's nice. Tom, Stephen, thanks for watching, and thanks to Bristol for helping us out.